I honestly had never heard of Nami Malamad before seeing her name attached to Star Trek Strange New Worlds and Prodigy. I held any judgement until I could listen to the score, and after watching the shows and listening to the music, I can firmly say that I am very pleased with the work that Nami has done. So let's talk about why with the music in Star Trek Prodigy. The show is geared towards kids as an introduction to the franchise, and there are some references for the parents as well, and the music for the show is perfect in the way that it has its own identity but also references a lot of Star Trek music. I won't point out every instance of a particular theme, but let's just see how many different ones that I found. To start out, Nami stated that some advice that she got from Michael Giacchino is to not overuse the main theme in the score. Well, she uses it an awful lot, honestly, and here's every instance in just one episode. While I disagree that it wasn't often used, it's transformed in many ways to fit the mood, and is used as the sonic identity for the show, so even when the theme itself is not directly referenced, the music seems to fit with it, almost as if it's an offspring of the theme. While Nami stated that the music gets more Star Trek-y as the show goes on, it starts out with the standard Star Trek opening. But even if we ignore that, Michael Giacchino's 09 music is not far behind. <laughs> Truthfully, that reference is repeated quite often, even slowed down to where you might miss it. The opening of the episode, I believe, was supposed to be different as the soundtrack includes this beginning. Which is just the start for Star Trek Discovery. Right before finding the protostar, the music resembles the main titles to Star Trek Insurrection. With this much, we get by the entire ship! The connection to Insurrection continues after the meeting of Zero because it resembles the music used for the Baku village after the opening title. You built that, really? Try to build one without any hands. I think I did a fine job. Why are you following me? You are cute. You can't deny that when Janeway appears, it's definitely the Voyager theme. Although reading the Wikipedia page, it says that Nami did not use the Voyager theme, which is just flat out wrong. Looking at the interview they reference, she says that it is a nod to the theme. Anyway, the Voyager reference grows with the show. with a full statement of it when we meet Admiral Janeway. Finally, back on the road. It's time we rescue our missing ship and get some answers. 
but it does represent Starfleet primarily in the show. Before moving on, episode 2 certainly resembles the first part of Lower Deck's opening sequence, wouldn't you say? Later on in episode 8, we get this theme comparison. Nami, you got the wrong franchise. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Now Nami did say that the music gets more Star Trek-like as the series goes on, and sure enough, in episode 9 we get this sequence, the longest music reference so far. Wearing Kelvin. In episode 10, there's a climax similar to the Kelvin movies. Now, I mean, Nami did work with Michael Giacchino, so... It happens near the start of episode 11 as well. While this musical idea does appear sooner, it's just a bit hidden, it seems close to the opening of Nemesis. Maybe Wrath of Khan? When meeting Starflight, the music seems to resemble the theme to Star Trek IV. Welcome, my Federation brethren. And of course, the original theme is there later. But in a few more episodes, we get music based on this theme. I'll admit this one's a bit of a stretch, but it is the same line. At the start of episode 17, there is a brief line that's similar to part of Wrath of Khan's theme. This spot here reminds me of Goldsmith's Klingon theme. Is that a Klingon bird of prey? It's also here in the next episode. Of course we need that iconic Trek fanfare. It wouldn't be Star Trek without it, right? Overall, Nami seems to take mostly from Michael Giacchino's Star Trek sound, but we do hear a lot of 90s Jerry Goldsmith music as well. I'm very pleased with her work so far and can't wait to see what the future has in store for her career. 